Hey everyone, so today I have a sort of review for you on um, NYX eyeshadows. Now, I don't have a lot of NYX eyeshadows, NYX or whatever you'd like to call them. Um, I did order some more, so maybe when I get those ones in, I ordered like about six more. Um, I can review them better for you. So I think right now I'm just going to review uh, the palettes versus the singles. And I'll tell you my opinion on them. Now, I'm not too sure, but maybe it's just me. But I feel that the singles are a lot more powdery and have more fallout than the palettes. And I, I could be wrong. Sorry, I have eye boogers. <laughs> I hate eye boogers. Okay, eye boogers are gone. Um... The thing is, is that I feel that these are not as powdery as these. I have so much fallout with these singles than I do with, with this. Um, but I do have to say, I really like the singles because the colors I feel are, um, they do have a lot more brighter colors. And sometimes when you buy a palette, you don't always like all the colors in it that you get so um actually this palette right here is the catwalk palette and i don't know how well you guys can see that but i'm hoping quite well without it blurring but uh there's quite a few really beautiful colors in here and i would call this a neutral palette because it is quite neutral it's all beige and browns and uh there's a rust color one pink and two kind of like peachy colors like a like a shimmery peach and like a darker peach. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it is a neutral palette and it's a really good palette to have. I love neutral um, colors so this is definitely a palette I use a lot. Um, and I don't get a lot of fallout with it. But that's just my opinion. Um, I have... Now that's the... I believe that's the 12 palette. Is it 12? 10 color palette. Uh, this is the five color palette and this is the Caribbean collection and this is called called I Dream of St. Kitts and this is what it looks like. These are all the colors that you get and I'm not impressed so much with this palette because it has more matte colors than I would have liked. When I saw it online I thought it would be a shimmery palette but it's not. The only shimmers are the, the pale color on the top the vanilla color and the center color which is like a little gorgeous brown um, with lots of coppery shimmer in it uh, it's kind of like a coffee like a dark coffee color and um, there's kind of like a, a, a sooty brown at the bottom and a matte white but it's not really, um, it's it's a good palette because I do like some of the colors, but there are some colors in here that I don't use, so I it disappoints me a bit. And again, with this palette, I don't have a lot of fallout. But with these singular ones, I have too much fallout. I, I like one thing about them, though, is that, yes, they're powdery, but you can use them damp. Uh, you get really good color payoff. I don't know how the matte ones look matte, um, damp, but I've used these shimmery ones like this one, which is uh, Frosted Ocean, and it's the most gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous dark navy blue with pink and blue and, and all different color little shimmers inside. It's a really beautiful, beautiful color. I don't know if you guys can see that sparkle, but I hope you can. It's so beautiful, and I like using this damp. I like I like using it as an eyeliner, and it's it's great. But the fallout really annoys me because I have to keep fixing my makeup, and yeah. <laughs> um, whoops. Now this color is called Star. And it's kind of like a silvery blue with iridescent sparkles. And again, it's completely, completely powdery. It does flake a lot. Um, the shimmers do come out. I don't even think the shimmers show up. Like, the thing is, there's so much sparkle in them, but when you put them on, like, the, the sparkle doesn't stay around. The shimmer does, but the sparkle doesn't. So that's why I think it's kind of pointless that they have sparkle in them. And that causes a lot of fallout. You get a lot of sparkle in places you don't want it. So that's the only downside about these eyeshadows. 
Um, and this is a very, very beautiful matte orange with sparkle inside. And this is called Hot Orange. And I'm just going to swatch these if I can swatch them. See, it's so powdery. I'm going to show you that. You can see it just like, and I've barely swiped it. That is hot orange. But you can't see, like the sparkle, like when you go like this, the sparkle comes off. So when you put it on your eyes, you're not going to see any of that sparkle at all. But, um, so that's hot orange. Cleaning off my brush. <laughs> I'm going to use the clean side for um, sky now. Now, I love Sky. Sky is such a pretty color. It's so pretty. don't know if you guys can see that. But it's such a pretty color. And the last color, which is my absolute freaking favorite, is Frosted Ocean. Whoopsie. I just have to be so careful because that one has like a tremendous amount of fallout for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, I'll just use my finger. I don't want to use a brush because it's just... I shall just show you my finger. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like a beautiful kind of metallic navy blue with all different colors shimmers, glitters in it. And with this partic particular eyeshadow, I find that the glitters do stick around. Um, but for the other colors, I haven't had any such luck. For some reason, I don't know why, but this color is a lot more powdery, but um, I find that the glitters tend to hold up a bit better. Maybe that's why. I don't know. But um, yeah, so um, in all, I, if I had to recommend which one to buy, if to buy the palette or if to buy the singles, um, there's cons with both. I mean, you'll get colors you don't like in a palette, and if you buy the single, you'll get a color that you do like. But beware that those colors are, the single colors are more powdery and you will have more fallout. Um, these colors don't have the shimmer, uh, the glitter so much inside. They do have shimmer, but they don't have the big chunky glitter that the sing single ones do. I, I haven't seen it at least. So, yeah, if you guys have tried these eyeshadows, please uh, comment below and let me know what you think. I'm interested in getting more. I did put it in an order on Cherry Culture to get some more, so I'm hoping they come soon so I can try them out. I'm really excited. But that's pretty much it, and I will see you guys later. Bye.